Welcome to Grayon Math. We are asked to solve this problem. We have a circle, and in, within this circle, there overlaps a an equilateral triangle. And this distance from the base of this triangle via the slant height to the intersection within the circle, it is equal to one. So we are required to find the area of this blue circle. Okay, so but before our solution, let us record the tangent secant theorem. So if a tangent segment and a secant segment are drawn to a circle from an exterior point, say this exterior point, then the square of the measures of the tangent segment, this is the tangent segment, because it intersects the circle in only one point. So the square of the measure of the tangent segment is equal to the product of the measures of the secant segment and its external secant segment. So that would be the square of the measure of the tangent segment is equal to a square. In this case, in this illustration is equal to the product of the measures of the secant segment. So the secant segment is this this whole length b plus c b plus c times the external secant segment and that is b so a square is equal to b plus c times b okay so to apply what we have discussed earlier the tangent secant theorem we need to first draw a line from this topmost part of this equilateral triangle downwards and this line should be perpendicular to the base of the equilateral triangle okay so since this is 60 since it is from originally from a an equilateral triangle and we form a right triangle then this becomes 30 degrees okay so next is we label this distance as x this will be our tangent segment and next is if and since this is a 30 60 90 triangle then if this is x then this distance is actually 2x this whole distance so that is 2x. This is actually 2x. So let us draw this 2x. Okay, so next is we apply the tangent secant theorem. So we have to square this tangent segment and that would be x square is equal to the whole secant segment and that is 2x times this exterior secant which is 1 and we actually form a quadratic equation x square minus 2x is equal to 0 so we have x times x minus 2 is equal to 0 we have actually two solutions x is equal to 0 and x minus 2 is equal to 0 and since this becomes 0 the first solution it is invalid since there is no zero distance and this becomes x is equal to 2. Okay, so next is we use the properties of a 30, 60, 90 triangle. So if we have this side opposite the 30 degree angle to be 2, then this side opposite the 60 degree angle is actually x times square root of 3. So let us call this the diameter. So D. 
So D is equal to X square root of 3. So we have D is equal to 2 square root of 3. And from this, it will be now easy to find the area of the circle. So area of the circle is equal to pi times d square over 4. Okay, so area of the circle is equal to pi times d square. But d is equal to 2 square root of 3 all over 4. So we have area of the circle is equal to pi times 2 square is 4 times square root of 3 times square root of 3. This becomes 3 over 4. Cancel 4. And we have the area of the circle to be 3 pi square units. And that is our answer for the first method. Okay, so for the second method is we are to draw a vertical line again from the topmost part of this triangle. And we draw next a line from this intersection of the circle and the equilateral triangle to this point to the base of the circle, I mean the equilateral triangle. And by Thales theorem, since the hypotenuse is the diameter, then this should be 90 degrees. Okay, so next is, we see that this angle is 60 degrees, and this angle is 30 degrees, and this angle is 60 degrees. And this is another 30 degrees. We actually form two 30, 60, 90 triangle, one small and one big. And next is we find this distance. So for the properties of this equilateral uh, 30, 60, 90 triangle, this small one, since the op this side opposite the 30 degree angle is one, then to get the hypotenuse, which is this one, you just multiply it by 2, this one unit length, so we have 2. Okay. And next, to get this length, which is the diameter, we simply multiply this again, this 2 units by square root of 3. So we have 2 square root of 3 for that distance of the diameter. Okay, so now it will be now easy to find the area. So area again of the circle is equal to pi times d square over 4. So area of the circle is equal to pi times 2 square root of 3 square over 4. Area again is equal to 4 times 3, 12, over 4. This becomes again area of the circle to be 3 pi square units. Same answer that we got earlier. So thank you for watching until the end of the video. Please like this video if you like our solution and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you will be updated for more math videos like this. Thank you. Bye.